Good morning, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh, and today I'm doing a market review here in the room live so that room people can ask questions about the market. First of all, does anyone have any questions about the market? I mean, let me just go back here. Trader Gal was saying, this is what we have classified as a higher high for those of watch that watch swing tops. You're talking about this. Is that what you're talking about? Trader Gal? Well, let's go over it. The SPY gapped up today. It gapped up. Open was 199.32. Let's take a look at it. This is what you're talking about. You're saying you, August 24th? No, August 24th was the day of the anomaly. The high in the day of the anomaly was 197.47. We're above that. We're above that today. We got above that three days after it happened. So I don't know why you're bringing that up. We're, we're through it. I, that's the point I'm trying to make. We got through this. This anomaly, this gap down, which was not a good gap down, we've been over this before, did not rate well, opened and swooshed, then negated the swoosh, reversed. Then after this horrendous bar the next day that happened on a gap up, we still recovered the following day and then on through here in a bullish gap. And we actually gapped up here and here and carried over ourselves. So it literally, we were above the high of the anomaly within two days. And that to me is a sign of strength. Now, when this gap happened here, I was like, oh, interesting. But then we got above over it. And then this gap ha happened here, and I said, no, we're not going anywhere with this. It's neutral. It's be done with it. And then yesterday, I called the market long. Now, today, I didn't call the market long intraday. I said I didn't say anything about this at all. I just said we gapped up today, and again, until we get over 200, we're not going to go off like a, the moon. You're pointing out this area here. You're saying that you're looking at this as a top. But remember, I don't trade like that. And I'm not sure why you do either, because I've taught you so many things, and you've been in here for so long now. I don't even know why you would think like that. Again, let's revamp the brain. Let's revamp it. Okay, the market is still in an uptrend. I don't care how many toppy, toppy, toppies it does. It's still in an uptrend. This could hit on this number 55 times. It's still going to get above it. As long as the market holds the uptrend, which it's still doing. And actually, I see nothing but signs of weakness here ever since this anomaly. You're saying that many people look at swings, a lot of people looking at that and bounced off of that today. Yes, you are right that a lot of people look at it that way. And a lot of people are short now this market. And guess what? Guess what? They are going to lose money because no one should be short this market. No one doesn't want it. And actually, again, I don't go long down gaps. But you know what? You could have gone long the gap down that happened on the 24th. Now, I don't do that. And it's not the right thing to do. But I'm telling you, you could have. Why? At that point, the market was still in an uptrend, and I knew it wasn't a gap down that would follow through lower. Therefore, you could have actually theoretically gone long in. I don't go long in the support. That's not the right thing to do as far as the brain goes. But I'm telling you that you are right, that people will have shorted the market. They're looking at this like top. People are probably going to enter more short in the market today. But I will tell you that it's a, not a good trade. It's not a good trade because the market's in an uptrend and we will get over 200. We have a situation where we're in this area of congestion. I don't know how long it takes us to get over it, but I did say that in an ideal world, the market gaps up over 200. I thought we could rally above it yesterday. We did have a rally. It was a nice rally. It was a good rally. It was a solid rally. And then we followed through in the gap up today from the rally into the close last night. However, it is summer still. It is three days after Labor Day. People are still off for the holiday week. We did not trade up over 200, and we didn't gap up over it today, but that's what we need to do to follow through to keep going. We will do it. I do not know when we do it, but I did say in an ideal world, we gap up over it. Don't be surprised if it happens tomorrow. Don't be surprised if it happens Friday. Don't be surprised if it happens this month because it's going to happen. And no one should be surprised about anything I say about the market to the upside. I'd be more surprised if I rolled out of bed and saw the market completely obliterate this trend. If it does, I will be the first person here bright and early on the morning that it does it at 5 a.m. ready to short everything on the planet. Until I say short the world, no one should be short this market. I mean, like that right there just says something right there of volumes. Like there's no one that loves a short more than me. Like, don't you think that if I thought the market was a short, I would scream it and yell it and jump up and down and sell my class, like, till next 
Tuesday. I mean, the reality is I could be talking bearish and screaming up and down red because I love to short and, and, and I love to teach people how to short. I'm not saying it. I'm not saying it because I'd be saying something that's false and my reputation is sterling because everything I say I actually believe and is correct and is right and the fact is the market's higher. But if, if I love to short and I'm the bearish queen of gaps and shorting and telling you the market's higher, it's really actually higher. It's like every once in a while when I call a bullish gap and we go long, everyone should just, we should just do them because I hardly ever say it. But it's the same thing in the opposite. If I'm telling you the market's higher, what do you think? It's higher. Because it'd be a lot easier for me to say it's lower. I teach a class on how to short, and I love to short, and I could short all over the world. Instead, I got up this morning, I'm looking at myself and saying, I'm scratching my head like, gosh, should I, should, I, should I have bought that down gap? Like, how could I be, I'm calling the market so well, so phenomenally well for so long now, in a way that almost seems impossible because everyone else is saying the opposite of me. And I'm like, I should be making millions of dollars on my market calls. This is actually silly now. It's almost silliness. So I'm scratching my head this morning like, why aren't, aren't I up a million dollars for my market call right now? So the market is higher. You know. The shorts will get stopped out. Some will get stopped out over 200. Some will not. They will hold it through the next resistance level, of which there really is none. But some people will say it's 205, 201, 205, 203. I can name 100,000 numbers, but none of them are going to hold. Why? We talked about this the other day. We talked about this the other week in the class. And what did I say? I said there is no resistance level here that is going to hold at all in this. Expect everyone to get up and above it. The level of 200, to me, Melissa Armo is the one that is very significant. That means we should just stick like glue and blow through the wind and have a nice concentrated rally. We haven't had a nice concentrated consecutive rally. We've had, we had this rally, we had this rally, we had this rally. What I'm looking for the 200 number is to have a nice consecutive rally. I'm not saying it has to hold 200 for the rest of its life. I'm saying at that level, if the market gaps up or we trade over 200, we will have a nice consecutive rally that will, that will be nice. It will be lovely. It could go for three days or five days or one massive green bar. We will have a beautiful, lovely rally. That doesn't mean people will all get out of the people that are shorting this market. Some will give it up to 205 and beyond, but some will give it up to here. Because people are crazy who think this market's short or lower, because it's not. But I'm telling you, though, that the nice, lovely, beautiful follow-through rally should happen over 200. It has not happened yet. I don't know when it does. Yes, people are looking at this as another top. Yes, people are looking at this as resistance. Yes, many people think the market's lower, but I'm telling you it's not. And I guess you'll just have to see how it plays out to see whether or not you believe me. Um, there's something else I was going to say that I saw in here. Shoot. I was talking something to him today. I don't know. Oh, I know. This. I don't even remember what I saw this day. Was that Friday? No, it was Friday. I don't, I don't even know what I saw that day. But, I mean, everybody was here, and I was like, Oh, this is interesting. Because I really didn't expect the market to gap down on Friday morning. So I was like, oh, this is, hmm. And I looked at it. I almost was going to rate this gap. Because I really didn't think we were going to gap down. But we did. I didn't rate it. I looked at it and I said, you know what? We're not going anywhere. And you know what? We didn't. And, and then I think I even talked about it after the fact. Because I said, you know what? We could have fallen off a planet here. Now, I didn't rate this gap. I didn't. But I'm telling you, I looked at it, in my mind, I was like, we're not going anywhere. And I'm not sure what I saw. I really don't know, because I never rated the gap. But when I saw how we closed over the weekend, I looked at it, and I thought, yeah. Because we could have fallen off the planet here, and we didn't do it. We didn't. And then we gapped up on Monday. So ev there's a lot of signs in here of bullishness, if you know how to read price action in the way that I do. One of them is this. One of them is today. One of them is here. 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 One of them is the gap here, even despite the red day. There, there's actually, we've had nothing but signs of bullishness except for this day here. 
There's only one day that was, I would say, that was a sign of bearishness since the anomaly and was here. Let me count the days. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In 11 days of trading, there's only been one sign of bearishness in the market. How I read price. Okay. Everything else in here actually is a sign of strength to me, of the confirmation that we're higher, which I'm not going to go into detail about because I'd be talking for 10 hours, but you'll just have to trust me. So have a wonderful, wonderful day, everyone. Thank you. Yes. Monday, bright and early. Be very careful if you trade Thursday and Friday. I, I wouldn't put it past the market to gap up in the next two days. I'm not saying it does, but I wouldn't put it past it. But I'm telling you, whatever day it does, there's a huge possibility that actually you can't short anything. So I'm just letting you know. And it could happen in the next two days. Or it could happen next week. But I'm just telling you, whatever day that happens, expect everything to rally like jimungously. So the overall analysis here of the SPY is that we're still higher. People are shorting this market today. People are short the market already. And some will get stopped out and exit the short. You will have short covering over 200. And some actually won't. They'll give it even more room. They'll give it a lot of room. They'll give it as much room as they can, not believing, not understanding, not looking at the right thing. Okay. But I saw one sign of bearishness since an anomaly. And that, to me, gives me, again, the confirmation that, in fact, we are higher, plus the way the market's trading here every day. And you see it's working through itself. It's working through itself trying to hold every day. Even yesterday it broke the low, and it's working through it. It's trying to hold. It's trying to hold. It is holding. It's trying to hold. It's trying to hold. It's trying to hold. It's rallied. It's holding. It's rallied. It's holding. It gapped up today. It's trying to hold. It's trying to hold. It's trying to hold. It's situating itself. This is You're watching in live time the market working through the situation, the situation of the situation of this, and the market's working through it. It's like situating itself and working through it, and it's working through it on low volume in a week of a holiday. So let it work through it. I don't know when we get up on over it. As far as I'm concerned, we already are, because we are actually, but 200 is the level, all right? If you're interested in more information on the Golden Gap class, email me at melissa at The next class is September 19th and 20th. Have a great day, everyone.